I need your help regarding LG refrigerator error codes. Error code F1 or 1F means the ice blower fan or ice maker motor need to be checked or replaced. And in both cases, I probably need to replace the part unless it is encased in ice. That's why ice makers in a fridge increase the repair rate about 50%. Fortunately, that's not the error code I'm seeing. Error code 22 when accompanied by a clicking sound means the compressor relay needs to be replaced if the wiring to it isn't loose. Error code 67 is the code for a gap in the door or fully packed fridge. I yell at the kids to close the door often enough. If you keep getting that error, check to see if the fridge is still level. An off-level fridge or warped floor can cause the door to be a little ajar. Spilled food caked on the seal is a more likely cause in our household. Error code DH is for the defrost heater. Whether the fuse has gone out to it or the heating element has died or the PCB for it has gone out, I don't know. Any of those can cause the freezer to look like a scene from the movie Frozen, where the ice builds up until there's no room for anything in it. The error code FS is a freezer sensor error. That's more likely to be the temperature sensor in the freezer or a wiring problem. At least I can verify that with a wave of my hand. Well, that and melting ice cream when the fridge says it is freezing. The error RDH means the sensor didn't get over 40 while FDH means the sensor didn't go over 40 degrees in defrost. In that case, so it is a heater or fan problem. I know error code FF means the evaporator fan failed, while CF is for the condenser fan. These could be anything from a motor that needs oil or cobwebs cleaned out to a control board that needs to be replaced. And a control board costs around the third of the price of a new fridge these days. You can try turning it off and turning it back on to solve the problem. That's what you do when you get the CO error code for a communication error. You can also try that for things like HS errors for the humidity sensor and SS for the pantry sensor. There isn't a pantry in the sensor. The pantry sensor is in the deli drawer. But in all the sensor issues, it could be as simple as needing to clean ice or gunk off the sensor or advanced as replacing it. If and down replace it is the standard repair tech solution.